Well, we've played a whole lot of games today. Seven hours of coverage, and we're finishing strong with the NFC West. Who will be the champion? Will it be Voltrax representing the Arizona Cardinals, or will it be the San Francisco 49ers champion, Trey Kings? Let's head inside Pizza Hut Stadium for the final time today for our NFC West Club Championship. Yeah, two quick nuggets real quick. Trey Kings did say he wanted to shout, his, shout out his Windy City Madden crew. They've helped him get to this point. Said he's ready as long as, as long as he stops the run and scores, he'll be okay. And then for Volterax, him and Turbo Jeff were in the lab the last few hours getting ready for this heavy Panther offense. Let's take a look at playbook, starting out with Voltrax. Raiders offense, no surprise. Yeah, Oakland Raiders playbook. We're going to see a lot of different runs. Voltrax likes to find a formation with a run that he can use that Trey Kings hasn't seen. He knows his playbook inside and out. Look for him to find something that Trey Kings hasn't seen before. On the flip side, Panthers offense, that heavy Panther formation. Yeah, we're going to see that heavy Panther. We might see a little Wildcat in that Panthers playbook as well with Lamar Jackson. Big shout out to the Madden heads at home who have been hanging out all day long. And don't worry, we've got two more days of coverage where we will crown a $100,000 winner and our second belt winner here of Madden 20. Still got quite a ways to go, though, as these guys get their audible set. Two different styles of running, but we've seen these guys, especially today, really be dominant offensively. Yeah, they really have. Trey Kings 33-14 over Beast Mode. Volterax 24 to 7 over Decroft. Both guys played well on offense and defense. And Trey Kings is a guy from San Francisco. He's a huge Niners fan representing his team here in the Final 16. First down and 10. Lamar Jackson up the middle, picking up four. Yeah, we see that QB blast first play on conservative. And looks like Volterax is on aggressive tackling on defense, looking for a fumble. And it, it's so tough to play on aggressive against Lamar Jackson because he breaks tackles so easily. That's what I was going to say, Nick. It, it's a very risky proposition because that aggressive tackling, you could, you're going to break a lot of tackles when they're on that, but you also can cause a big fumble, which could be a determining factor in the outcome. First and 10 for Trey Kings on offense. You're going to see a lot of Lamar Jackson in action, outside, he avoids Tillman. He tries to fight through the tackle of Palomalu, who give him 13 on the play. Yeah, so much speed with that Lamar Jackson. And for the viewers out there wondering why he has C.J. Mosley in the backfield there, he does have that high impact blocking, obviously to help with extra blocking for this heavy Panther formation. Speaking of Madden heads, we got a, a, a very special Madden head out there watching. We know Jets at home, locked in. Appreciate you tuning in. Enjoying the show and supporting a pretty, pretty darn good producer in the back there. First down and 10. Lamar in the shotgun. He's going to drop back to pass for the first time. Rolling out right side. Nowhere to go. He'll check this one out of bounds. So one thing to point out here is Lamar Jackson. He has that fast break ability, but he doesn't have escape artists on his Lamar Jackson, which is a little surprising. You would think he would have both abilities. So he does not have the ability to get outside the pocket as fast as someone would with that escape artist. Second and 10. Scoreless to start this game. Lamar trying to find some room on the left side. Good run D. Yeah, Volt's been lapping this run D for the last three hours. I talked to Turbo Jeff a few minutes ago. He said they've been locked in. They think they found something for this heavy Panther. They felt confident going into this matchup. Some interesting stats from the first round games that combined these two, 415 rushing yards, negative nine passing yards. It is ground and pound. That is the name of the game. And to start off this game, Voltrax, whose defense has been absolutely dominant, getting a stop. Man, if you guys could see the roster Voltrax put together on his defense, it's like all 95 overall guys. It's insane. It's literally a mutt weekend league type defense. And you could see on that first drive, just dominant. I'm sitting in the back with, uh, with Scott Cole, and he said, looking at that defense, he's like, we're playing salary cap. This isn't mutt unlimited. You're not allowed to have that many good players on the defensive side of the ball. Yeah, his defense is insane, man. I couldn't believe it. And that's what happens when you, as you'll see here, Volterax does not have a good quarterback. He's using that 15 or 16 cap Drew Brees, which allowed him to pay up at all these other positions. And he's going to utilize this Chris Johnson here, uh, the, the max Chris Johnson. He doesn't have an ability on him because he likes to spin with him, but he's got so much speed. Hand off to Johnson up the middle in that first game. 
CJ 2K, 24 carries, 188 yards, and three touchdowns. He'll start off this game with a two-yard gain. Yeah, you're going to see him come out in all different types of formations. I form, strong, weak, some single backs. He's going to do all different things in order to get Trey Kings off balance and find something that he hasn't seen that will be effective for him. We're nearing the two-minute mark in the first quarter. And a big shout out to all the fans out there hanging out with us. It's been a long day. We've had some great action though these first two days, and it's only going to get better from here as the field gets whittled down. Yeah, out here in a single back wing tight formation. Three tight ends. Looks like he's going to have a lot of room over there. Cuts it back inside with Johnson near the first down marker. Don't think he quite got there. Call it a third and one. Yeah, just a nice run. He had the numbers to that left side. All those three tight ends right there. Great job. It was a good user by Trey Kings to not give up a huge play. And so far, we've seen Voltrax. Two plays, two different uh, two plays, two different formations. Looks like we're going to see a third different formation here on this third and one. Voltrax, the 22-year-old, 38,000 and change in MCS career earnings. Of course, he took fifth in the Madden 17 championship. Give him a cool 20K. Third down and one. Got Johnson in the backfield. Breeze underneath center. He'll hand it to Johnson, trying to get to the outside. And Trey King says, hey, Volt, I see your defense, and I'll raise you one. Yeah, great run defense right there. But now we're already in a big fourth and one here for Volt. You know he's not going to pass the ball. He does not have the quarterback or receivers to do that. We're going to see a run here on this fourth and one. Let's see what Trey King has for it. Well, we had a stop one way. Can Trey Kings get a stop coming back? Both these guys heavy runners, so TD, I mean, it, run defense has got to be sort of what's what's the big stat? Who can get the stops defensively? Yeah, that's the key. And look for a halfback dive here. So you see, he was, he was using that Rod Woodson in the middle. Yeah, Rod Woodson was huge for me last year in my club series run. I love that Rod Woodson card. One of the best players in salary cap every year. Now, big fourth and one here. Let's see what Trey Kings has. You got to be expecting a halfback dive. I formation, Johnson at the top of the eye, fourth and one. Voltrax trying to keep this drive alive after his stop on Trey Kings. See Ed Reed lurking, trying to figure out which gap they're going to shoot. Right down Main Street goes Johnson. He takes a hit, and I don't think he got there. Trey Kings paid him Voltrax back with a stop of his own. Wow, great run defense, and here we go. We've had two possessions and two phenomenal run defenses. Wow, this is a battle right now. The first quarter's flying by. Here's Lamar Jackson on this QB blast. Trying to find some room on the left side. Four yards and a cloud of dust. Looks like the forward pass wasn't even invented yet. Second and six. Back into that heavy Panther formation we haven't really seen since probably three or four weeks ago. And a one. Scoreless game, does that surprise you? Uh, yeah, it does. I mean, it, it, not really. I mean, these guys are going to run the ball a lot, play a lot of defense. And how about tomorrow? Conference semis. Joke and Skimbo, Drini and Pavin. I mean, talk about dream matchups tomorrow. Skimbo will be in action. He's, he's like about the farthest from action right now. <laughs> Look at him. He's as relaxed as he can be. But you know, once tomorrow comes, it's a, Skimbo on game day is just a totally different person. Hey, starting off tomorrow, we got Skimbo and Joke. You can't ask for a better matchup to go to the Final Four. Man, I cannot wait for that. As we get ready for the second quarter of action here in our NFC West Final. Cannot wait for tomorrow, though. We hope we will see you all there starting at 7 o'clock Eastern time. Getting back to this game. It's going to be Trey Kings with the ball, trying to get the Lamar Jackson going. It has not been easy running. Voltrax with phenomenal defense so far. Boyle into the backfield. Lamar going to take the snap, and he's going to run it. Don't call me Nostradamus. I just know what's going to happen. Lamar outside. Ed Reed says, no way, Jose. Only got to pick up one, fourth and two. Yeah, Volt is so prepared for this heavy Panther. You can see here, Trey Kings just has nothing going up with it. 
And I think he should take his points here. You've played great defense. You need to get the lead at this point. He's going to go for it. I don't like this decision by Trey Kings. Getting gutsy here. Trying to avoid another stop. Lamar right down the middle. I think he got there. He did to the 31-yard line. Big pickup for Lamar Jackson. He got there by a few inches really close. But Lamar does fall forward for it. And that's why he used that Lamar Jackson with that fast break ability. Big first down. First and 10. You rely on one player so much, you start to worry about fatigue and fumbles. Jackson outside, give him five. Great patience right there. I want to see Trey Kings do that a little more. Right when he hikes it, he, you know, he pauses for a second, takes a little step, and then makes his move. That seems to be the best way to run this offense. Nice run right there for five yards. And I think Trey Kings is going to utilize this clock, too. He's going to get his guys rested here. You can see Lamar Jackson's a little yellow. He's going to rest his guys and use a little clock. This clock ticks down inside Pizza Hut Stadium. Nick Mazesco, Tyler Davis with you. Final game of today. Now it becomes crunch time. So if it wasn't enough pressure before. Lamar to the 23, give him three on that run. Yeah, and Trey Kings, he labs with the King, as you guys know, one of the best heavy Panther players in the world. Last year's Atlanta Falcons Club Series winner. Um, so, you know, they obviously go over this heavy Panther formation a lot, and it's paying dividends for them. Yeah, I was talking to him before, right after his last game that he won. He said, you see that, you see that stick with Lamar? That's the DeKing stick. It's Jackson outside. He'll pick up a first down. Listen, it's, it's no disrespect to Trey Kings, but DeKing might be the best I've ever seen using that Lamar Jackson. And, and Trey Kings is putting up a good fight now with him. Yeah, the Kings stick work is phenomenal. Trey Kings looks great too right here. Trey Kings having a great drive right now. You want to use this clock, he's doing a great job. He's being patient, you know, he's not rushing anything, which you'd love to see. Picking up a couple on the ground in that era, or excuse me, in that San Francisco Final Four. He took down Jay Bird. He took down Father Figure. He uh, won those games only though by a combined 21 points. It was a close matchup. Didn't have any easy games, and he's looking for a little easier path here. Lamar, left side, nowhere to go. Yeah, good run defense right there. Clogged up the middle, and now third and six. I wonder if we'll see a pass here from Trey Kings. That first game today, Lamar Jackson, 22 carries, 230 yards and three touchdowns. A little hesitation, a little patience. But same old, same old from that Volt defense. It's just pure overall, it's pure strength. There's no abilities, it's just put the best players out there for Volt. Yeah, all 95 overall guys. Pat Tillman, so many goons out there. Nice stop right there. And now this is what a smart decision by Trey Kings to take his field goal now. Because I think he should have earlier too, but now Voltrax has no timeouts. We know that Volt wants to run every play. He's not gonna pass, can't get out of bounds really. So this is a good situation to be in if you're Trey Kings. See what sort of drive he has before the half with no timeouts. Does he have any hope of throwing this ball with this Drew Brees? No, he's not going to do it. He doesn't have the receivers for it. He's not going to pass once. Easy enough. Jack shots up the middle. Give him six. Yeah, a little five-yard run right there, six-yard run. And the clock's, the clock's against him right now. He's got to move a little faster. Second and four. CJ2K at the top of the eye, under 40 seconds left in the half. Low scoring defensive battle. Line them up as Johnson once again stifled, only picking up one. Do you think about using timeouts at all of your trade case? Yeah, I was thinking he, he might use one right here, but it looks like he's not going to do it. He's cool with going up three at half, but I would probably call timeouts right there, try to get the ball back. And it looks like Volterax is cool with going to the half, too. He's going to try one more run here to break one. I feel like this is like the the Josh Lewin invitation. It's like a baseball score. Yeah, Josh loves seeing those three nothing games. Yeah. But I, I had a feeling this game was gonna be like this. I mean, both these guys wanna establish the run. Both have great defenses. It's a low scoring affair. This clock running down. No timeouts again, so the minute they break the huddle. Clock's going to get moving, so Volt looking just for a big play, something to break open. We've seen a lot from this Chris Johnson. Yeah, Trey King's in this quarter three deep now. He doesn't want to give up any big plays at all. So Samuels to the outside. 
Lee will stay in bounds. And that will take us to halftime. If you're a fan of defense, you're loving this game. It is three to nothing. Not a whole lot going on. Trey Kings and Full Tracks both bringing great defense. Guys, don't forget the Madden Game Day program. You can get exclusive Mutt content now, including some of your favorite coaches who you're seeing throughout this week, including Coach Pobbin, available in a fantasy pack. Make sure you go and grab them now. I love seeing those guys on the sidelines. Such a great way to connect the people at home with what we're doing out here. Oh yeah, such a cool thing. When you see the competitive players in the game as a coach, fans can get out there and use their favorite player as a, as a coach. I'm just hoping to get scanned in there as like a mascot, popcorn vendor, something like that. <laughs> Put me in the game. I don't need to be a prominent feature, but you know, I'll wear the Arizona Cardinals mascot. Let's go. Rise up, Red Sea. Three nothing. Here comes Volt on offense. Not a whole lot of success, something we haven't been able to see. He has thrown it with that Drew Brees and it doesn't work Nick, out. I am shocked. I didn't think we'd see one pass and he does the one pass and look what happens. That's why he doesn't want to pass. Big sack right there. He tried to catch him off guard with that first play of the second half, just didn't work for him. TD, I got some bad news for you. That doesn't go down as a pass attempt. So he technically still hasn't run a pass. True, true, that's, true. that's rough. <laughs> that's how you know it's rough. You try to catch him off guard with a pass play. And you take a sack. Second and 14. Back to the ground game. Chris Johnson maybe gets five. I think that first play also shows, like, uh, Voldrax doesn't seem too confident right now in his run offense because you would never, ever see him try to pass the ball. He must not think he's doing great on the run game, obviously, and tried to catch him off guard, but just didn't work out. Full tracks in the live finals in State Farm Stadium took down KMAC 10 to 7. Took down somebody else 17 13 in the final. Ready? 5 8, 5 8. Always got to run I, I didn't say your name, I said somebody else. Third and nine, Johnson up the middle. Man, the first really successful run we've seen from Voltrax. He'll get 10 and he'll pick up a first down. Yeah, Chris Johnson falling forward for that first down. Nice run right there, but yeah, not much going on the ground right there. His first real good run of the game. His fourth EA Major event appearance, and he's got a pretty good MCS all-time record, 38 and 14. Knows how to play under the bright lights. Hey, Nick, I'm hoping he wins it all. It makes me look a little better, you know what I mean? I lost to the champ. <laughs> first down and 10. Give me a hand up to Johnson, trying to find some room right side, right back to it. Trey Kings with the defense. Yeah, only nine rushes, 31 yards, man. Trey Kings' defense has been phenomenal all day long. Like I said earlier, his defense versus beast mode earlier was tremendous. Looking good here so far through this first half. Yeah, man, beast mode was a guy who a lot of people thought coming in could win the entire thing. And, I mean, just an absolute dominating performance. Yeah, you got to think that was a big upset in some people's minds. Uh, beast mode taking the L to Trey Kings. Second and 10 here for Volt. I think we're going to see another diver stretch out of this I form tight formation. He's going to audible to the wing. Smart strategy here. He has the numbers to this right side. Move that tight end to the right side. Extra blocker over there. Stretch run for Johnson. Trying to find some room. He'll get tackled at the 47 yard line. Near a first down, call it a third and short. Yeah, he's doing something great on offense right now. He's coming on that I form tight, motioning his receiver over. Trying to glitch out the man defense a little bit, and then when he doesn't get it, the look he wants, he'll audible to that wing formation to get the numbers to that side. Great run right there. Big third and inches coming up. Doesn't seem like either the dive or the stretch has been one more effective than the other. So going to the strong eye. One wide receiver, blue. that's O'Shaughnessy split out to the right, now moving over to the left side. 2-10 and counting. Gives it to Johnson, picks up a first down, and now the offense starting to get a little momentum. Yeah, Vulture actually pulling on every formation. Right there was the wing, H-wing formation, or the, excuse me, the weak H-wing formation. We don't really see a lot of weak formations ran. Vulture actually trying to find any run he can that can really get something going versus Trey King's run defense. We talked about Voltrax's defense, how much he spent on that. Trey King, same way, a lot of cap spent defensively. Knowing that if he's going to be running the ball, he needs to get stops. Drew Brees, the performance he had the other night, handoff to Johnson, nowhere to go. 
Yeah, that's why you get those secure tacklers out there. Nice tackle. Only gain in one right there. Trey Kings not give up any big runs right here. That's what he wants to do. Make him work for every yard he's getting. Through the ladders. Trey Kings, 300 wins, 99 losses, 75% win percentage. Good for 12th out of the final 32. Second and nine, how about a stretch run for Johnson? Trying to find some room, and he does. Woodson can't make the tackle. Johnson will pick up 15. Yeah, great run right there. Best stretch to the outside. Chris Johnson, too much speed. Nice drive right now by Vault. He's taking his time, using this clock, getting whatever he can. Hey, if you get four yards every down, it's a new first down every time, so doing a good job grinding it out right here. If you took the under in this game, you're in good shape. Three nothing, your score, under a minute to go. 52 seconds and counting as clock management starting to come into play, especially with the runners in this meta. Already thinking about limiting the number of possessions. Johnson, don't run into your own guy, Chris. Yeah, bad stick work right there by Volt. He had, the, he had a little hole right there, ran into his own guy. Second and 11, we'll probably see one more play here before the end of the third. If there's one great part about this run meta, games are quick. I mean, you just don't have that many possessions, so any mistake can determine the game. Yeah, this has gone by fast, man, it really has. That's what you expect when you play Volterax, man. These games are gonna fly by. It's just gonna run every play, and it looks like we're gonna get a stretch here. And it is indeed a stretch, and it's Chris Johnson! Oh, finally some action! CJ 2K to the house! Yeah, there we go. Finally, the first touchdown of the game comes with that Chris Johnson stretch to the outside. Volterax taking a lead here, going into the fourth. Phenomenal drive right there by the Arizona Cardinals club champion. Man, how the tables have turned. The first touchdown is on the board. Seven to three. It was only time until a hole opened up for CJ. Yeah, that outside was wide open, man. Just followed the lane. Great run vision, easy touchdown. Take a look at this one more time. The blocking was just absolutely perfect. And once Chris Johnson gets to second level, wave goodbye. Yeah, too much speed, untouched, into the end zone. Now seven, seven to three, going into the fourth here. One final play. I have a feeling, could be wrong. I'm feeling it's gonna be Lamar Jackson. It is indeed. Oh, oh, oh he's fighting on. through, he's stumbling and bumbling. He'll get nine, zeros on the clock, fours up in the chat. It is time to head to the fourth quarter, presented by Snickers. Oh no, no, don't pressure him. This party's garbage. That bad, huh? It is that bad. It's like a bag of zero. Try this creamy Snickers. You can use a little smoothness. Is that one of the zeros? Get smooth with the fresh ground nut butters and creamy Snickers. Boy, Lamar Jackson could have used a little bit of smoothness on that run. It looked like he could have hit the end zone, but just tripping over everything. Man, you can see it in his face. If Lamar didn't stumble right there, Trey Kings would be in the end zone. He shook his head after that play, man. Tough break right there. You got to put a drive together here. Five minutes to go. Let's go to the final eight, man. Someone's got to step up. Does anybody have an edge here? I mean, I know Voltrax just scored the first touchdown of the game, but Trey Kings really was almost dominating for three quarters. Yeah, but with the way this game's going, I mean, you gotta think Volt has the edge getting that touchdown. It's been hard to get anything going. That touchdown's huge for him. Second down to two, Lamar. Right up the middle, stumbling again, another play. Trey Kings is begging Lamar to go do some ballet or something, get some balance back. Two plays in a row where we thought he could've had a touchdown. Had the open seam, just stumbled, couldn't break it, man. Wow, it's, the game, it's a game of inches, Nick, it really is. Lamar, trying to cut back right, but there was just too much pressure. Lamar won't get anything. Yeah, Trey King's being patient right now, trying to wait for that hole to open up. Volterax not giving up anything easy. Good battle going on here. Patience up the middle. Give him four. I implore anybody who thinks this is easy. Go get a Lamar Jackson and try to pick up yards every play. It's just, it's so tough because it requires more patience than most people have, including myself. I want to jam on that turbo button right away. Yeah, you gotta have patience, you gotta have vision. It's not easy to be a prolific runner. And now here we go, man, fourth and six. We're gonna have to see a pass, in my opinion here. Your, your tournament life's on the line. It's gonna be, it's gonna, if you run the ball here, that's a difficult decision. 
but I think we're going to see a pass on this fourth and six. We saw one pass earlier from Trey Kings. Didn't quite go his way. We saw one pass from Voltrax. Definitely didn't go his way. Will we see pass number three? It is fourth and six, and back into the heavy Panther is Trey Kings. And it does look like he's going to be passing it. The question is, who's going to be catching it? Lamar looking for it all, trying to find Devin Hester, but Deion Sanders says, give me that. Just nothing there, man. Trey Kings trying to make a play, lobbed it up. I think it was that Raheem Mostert card, and just nothing there, man. Click on by Volterax with prime time, easy pick. And now Volterax in complete control here. Would you have liked to see him bat that one down for the field position, or are you comfortable being back here at the 20? No, nah, I would probably just picked it off. I mean, it's too risky to try to take a swat. You don't know what's going to happen. I'm trying to go for that pick every time. Just get the ball back. Well, nowhere to go for uh, Chris Johnson, a name we've called a lot, Shaquem Griffin making the tackle. Such a weapon at linebacker. Yeah, that's Shaq Griffin. Such a beast budget card. A lot of people use, utilizing him. We saw we saw Pavin using him phenomenally uh, yesterday. Yeah, that guy's a beast, man. Clock tick, tick, ticking away. Trey King's looking for a stop. Hand up to Johnson, cuts it up the middle. He's still running, and he may be gone. Could this seal a spot in the next round? Can Dion run him down? CJ 2K to the one yard line. What a run from Volterax. Phenomenal run stick right there. Trey King's able to shoestring tackle him at the one yard line. Volterax in complete control here. And if he punches this in up 14 3 with two minutes to go, it's going to be tough for Trey King to come back from this. The defense has been stifling. And here in the second half, the offense has been explosive. Listen, I can already, I can hear Mo in the back going, that was the best thing right there for Voltrax, getting stopped on the one yard line because it forces a timeout. Exactly, yep. And now he can use, either use this clock or use uh, Trey King's timeouts here. Either way, it's a win for Voltrax. I, I honestly, he could go down again here, make him burn another timeout, and then punch in on third down. That would be ideal. But I think you just got to try to punch it in here, make it a two score game whenever you can. Now well, he's gonna have to do it again. He'll lose three on that one. But now you're at the three yard line, four yard line. It gets a little more difficult here. Trey King's giving himself a chance now. This is a big third and goal here. Volterex wants seven. He does not want to kick three. Kick three, it's still a touchdown ball game. Ready, ready. In the NFC West Finals. Check, check, check. Nick Mazesco, Tyler Davis with you. Appreciate everybody hanging out with us. Twitch chat's been amazing. Stretch to the right, here we go. Great there's defense. Just, there's a lot of red jerseys out there, and just like that, Trey King's defense giving him life. You can see Trey King's feeling it, man. He knows it now, he has a chance. Bolter acts with that huge run to the one yard, one yard line. We thought it was gonna be a touchdown, and now Trey King's has a chance. It's a seven point game, no timeouts for Trey Kings, and maybe the most daunting part about this TD is he has to score a touchdown against a Voltrax defense that is loaded and hasn't given up a touchdown yet. Yeah, like we said at the beginning, man, this is like a mutt weekend league defense. It's gonna be difficult for, for Trey Kings. I mean, he's getting block sheds. His, his secondary is insane. You're gonna have to see, you're gonna have to pass at some point here. Let's see what he does. Lamar cuts it back. Oh, picks up 10. You start thinking about the what ifs, TD. We saw at least two runs that could have been touchdowns for Lamar. Yeah, great point. Those two touchdowns that he had when he stumbled and couldn't get it. And now the clock is really working against him here. He's got to hurry up and try to get this QB blast. He's got to break one if he wants a chance. Yeah, that runoff starts to come into play near the one minute mark left in the game. Boyle into the backfield as he's going to throw it. Dropping back is Lamar, waiting, looking, and sitting down. How about the hit from Ryan Shazier? That defense is just way too nasty for Volterax, and he doesn't have that escape bar, so he can't get outside, really. He's going to go back to the QB blast here. And this is going to be your ball game, man. Fourth and 18. You don't want to pass, really, but you're going to have to. Tournament life on the line. Clock's ticking. And he's looking at that Lamar Jackson bright red. Fatigue, a big part when you rely so much on one player. Yeah, I think this is going to be the last play of the game, too. He's trying to get the energy back on Lamar. The clock is ticking, man. You got to make a decision here. 
He's going to come out in it with Lamar's not even fully entered, uh, healthy right here. He's got the he's got the orange. He's going to have to try some, break one to the outside here. Last play of the game. Open for the big play. This one, your final play. Snaps it with one. Lamar, left side. He's got a little bit of room. Users back there, but too much defense from Voltrax. And 